we're moving on with variables is a thing that can take a lot of time. We're not so container function to actually do that one anymore. I have this version. I've already calculated the source code analysis down here. And there's a report here on the print that will actually find uh, unused variables on here. So I can go in and uh, take a look at this one. And uh, I'll just uh, look at this version in here. And uh, as I go in, I'll see in this one I have a, a couple of variables in here where uh, I have some picture uh, variables that are actually all not being used in here. So I can either go delete them manually, but the other thing I can, I can actually run this function again. And since I have source code analysis, I can actually go in and say I want to update um, variables. I can also, if I had modification to a base application, uh, I didn't want to correct the problems that came from Microsoft with unused variables. So I would actually go in and point at a base version in here and say any variable that exists in that one is not going to be marked for deletion. So but I'll go in here and say preview on this one. And uh, it now calculated that one. If I look at my uh, source code analysis, I will have a new field in here um, that is an unused variable. And it marked these three variables as being unused in here. So I can see them this way also in here in the source code analysis. To remove the variables, you can use the export function. And uh, as I go in, I'll uncheck my uh, renumber. I'll actually uh, say I want to remove unused variables. And then I go in and say um, no unused variables. And I can uh, go ahead and import that one in here. compare against what I started out with. And now the 26 objects, uh, three of them are left in here. And if I go uh, look at my contrast, I can see these uh, record exist in here. And I can see that this variable was deleted. Um, so it's not being used any longer. This one was actually causing a problem because I could see the whole bar was in there, so I would have had a problem uh, importing that one into a database because it wouldn't have allowed me to have the bar by itself. But it basically deletes that line.